and Jade's been in good form. She had a first time clearance at 420. I think Jade's been coached by Brian Hooper now, former British record holder. And well, that's nicely done as well. Well, actually, that looks pretty good. Tony Minicello is next to me, and I've said 450. She's done 441 and 440 this year. Uh, you know, that's, that's the target, and she has to do it if she wants to get to the championships. Uh, but 10 centimetres or 9 centimetres is a lot still. I think she's probably have cleared this in training, so she knows that. I mean, you look at the clearance of 435, a really comfortable clearance. Yes, she took two attempts, but there. It, it'll be how she deals with it mentally, because she's going to stand on the runway, and not only do you need to vault a PB, it's got that crucial 450 qualifying to it. Well, this is the Commonwealth champion, Alicia Newman, who had a horrendous uh, partial tear in... Uh, in her knee and really had a real, you know, after winning the Commonwealth title, you kind of think that's going to really take you on. And uh, I mean, that was a great Commonwealth final against uh, McCartney, wasn't it, with the New Zealander, who was probably the favourite, and Alicia Newman of Canada came through there. But she's been in good form this indoor season, but now she's in a bit of trouble. So there's the Cuban silver just walking around, just looking. And look, she's not vaulted it. We don't have a season's best for her. This is a, probably a first indoor competition this year. Good club, Blackburn. Did he do heptathlon? No. <laughs> Third attempt for the Commonwealth champion. That's better. Well, you know, you want to see the good athletes. You don't want to see them go out early, do you? She's in decent form. As I said, she had a, a patella tendon partial tear, which upset the whole of the outdoor season. Only started training in October, but she's getting it back together. Just not getting the pole out early enough, really. The lower hand, the left hand, a little bit bent, so from there. But it's a strange season. I mean, we, we're looking forward as Europeans to the European Championships. This is it's a long, long season to Doha if you've got no indoor peaks. So she's probably just getting back into the swing of things from her injuries and just trying to test herself out with the Doha World Championships being probably the, the foremost of her mind. Chips last year, Kiriakopoulou. There's a Greek one too in the Berlin. And she going at 450, the bar up to 450 now. We're expecting Holly Bradshaw to come in at this height. This is the first attempt for Kiriakopoulou. Stefanidi passing at this height, incidentally. Oh, that's nice. That's a very good way to start your competition. Nice, clean clearance, first time. Excellent. That's how it should be. You want your opening height. It sets up a marker, gives you the confidence, and helps you progress in the, in the competition. That's what you need. Good high top hand, the right hand nice and high, the takeoff. We see a good, comfortable clearance. Yeah, very comfortable indeed. And uh, oh, she can sit back. And in the pole vault, we saw a clearance, a very, very nice clearance from Kirakapulu, her first attempt. This is Katerina Stefanidi. We thought she might wait a little bit, but she's coming in at 450. And, uh, well, she's so dominant, isn't she, in recent years? And that's why she's so consistent, particularly when it matters, you know, in the big competitions. She doesn't always win all the diamond leagues and things, Tony, but when it matters, she's so good. A nice clearance there. Now, great performer. A little bit, you see how just mistimes the plant a little bit, left hand's a little bit low and she gets that dip, but it's, it's an easy height for her. She is a competitor here, has a season's best of 474, which is probably modest for her, but... Uh, Again, a couple of weeks before the championships, you're probably still in a bit of heavy training. This is Katie Najot. And it is Najot. Checked. <laughs> really good performance last year. Her first uh, US best at the indoor champs, finished fifth last year. And she's uh, really starting to develop as a world-class pole vaulter. Again, getting that level of consistency. Here's Holly, though. 450, first vault of the competition in superb form. Very nice. You were saying, um, Tony, we'll see more of her going on. It was off 12 strides last week when she did that 480. What's the difference between then going to 16? Uh, to be honest, it's a it's a 14-step approach. She walks the first two and then runs the 12. If you watch Najat, Najat has a, a skip on to 16 steps, but 
she's worked a lot on her speed and that's a critical thing she only jumped 480 once last year so to come out in your first competition and jump 480 again absolutely brilliant form and 480 wins medals that would have won a silver medal at the europeans last year so she's in fantastic form bar now has gone up to 461 we had good clearances first time for the likes of bradshaw and indeed Zuc. Uh, so he's had a second time clearance at 450, but actually just rattling it there. But that's a first time clearance. Uh, she might not be one of the favourites here, but that's excellent from her. So Zhuk, the Belarus athlete, clear. Stefanini then looked very neat and tidy at 450. Been a few problems with the adjustments for the bar. Went a little delay in this pole ball, but nice clearance there from the Olympic champion Stefanini. Little. Blow of the cheeks, a little relief. They've had a, a bit of a delay, never helps the athletes. Holly Bradshaw looking to match Stefanini. First time, 461. Ah, work for that, we've got it. Not the cleanest attempt there, but well clear. She's got. Room to spare, you saw a little sniff there from Holly as if to say, yeah, OK, I can be better than that, and um, she will so want to win this. Front of her home crowd, big field, good field. I can tell you that Najot has had one failure, as indeed has the Commonwealth champion Newman at this height. But Bradshaw safely clear, as indeed is Stefanidi and Juk. This is Katie Najot. Um, Rather poignantly, always taps her shoes to remind herself of her dad, who sadly died a good few years ago. It was a big influence on her. Took two attempts to get over 461, 471. That's good. Well, she's cleared 486 this year. So Katie Najat, who gets better and better. That's a real mark to lay down for the others. It's still early in the competition, but once you get up to 470, 471 here, it starts to get a little bit serious. Holly Bradshaw, first time clearances at 50 and 61. Be watching this. A well clear as well from the American. Kiria Kapulu, after a second time clearance at 461. One failure so far at this height. European silver medalist. And that's nice as well. All right. So, two clear. She missed, missed it uh, earlier on. Jade Ive had a very good attempt, third attempt at 450, which she just failed, which would have given her a spot at the European Indoors. Wasn't to be. So the Olympic champion now, Katerina Stefanidi, one failure already at this height. That's better. She's just so you know, wrapped herself around the box. It almost seems like whatever height, diminutive figure, but well, it was crunch time for Holly Bradshaw. 471, third attempt. Yeah! And she gets it. That's more like it. Oh, oh. Well, the crowd and Holly celebrating there. Tony. You know, the, the form she's in, she would have been a huge disappointment if she hadn't gone over there. Yeah, you can see, gets the pole out, pulls down on that top hand a little bit, but still gets up and over it. Brilliant. That means a lot to her, and that's what the crowd have come to see. She's in very good form. Yeah, looked a lot tidier there. Get in. <laughs> She's got to work on the celebration, I think. Just clipping it on the way up there, maybe a tad fortunate. She's Getting on, a bit close to the bar. She's on shorter poles, I think, compared to her competitors. She's got a 4 meter 70 pole compared to the other women who will have a 5 meter pole. So there's, there's room to come. There's more to come. So, Holly Bradshaw, after getting over 471 at the third attempt, first to go 481 here. And she's clear now. That's changed things. She was leading after first time clearances at 50 and 61, not when she had three attempts at 471, but she strikes first. From fourth place to first place, that's a magnificent vault. Well, they're slow to recoil, but gives it a little tickle, but it doesn't matter, the bar stays on. 
I tell you what, Steve, she's improved her celebration. Yes, look at that. Means a lot. 481. So, Kiriakopoulou, who's been looking good here. Third attempt. And she goes clear. Well, we've got a real competition on here. She had two attempts at 61, 71. You saw that. And her first attempt at 81 wasn't very good at all. Got better in the second attempt and cleared with a third. So the European silver medalist from last year in Berlin goes higher. Now, that equals her indoor personal best, goes back to 2016. No wonder she's pleased. Really, really good performance. She's had a good indoor season so far. A third competition this, equaling her PB. So Stefanidi then, in a bit of bother, third attempt. No! So, normally so good, normally so consistent. The championship queen goes out. Stefanidi leaving just Holly Bradshaw and Kiriakopoulou as clear at this height. We've still got Katie Najot yet to go. The Olympic, sorry, the Commonwealth champion Newman went out at 471. Well, it's always good to see Stefanidi, but not heard afternoon just watch Katie Najot here before she vaults she always just taps the side of her spike I'm not sure we've seen it there she's got dad written on there I said earlier on it was a big inspiration in her career she goes through this routine well she now she needs something third attempt Katie Najot USA 481 she goes clear as well. So three women. Tony, it's a good competition, and I'm not sure if there were the three would expect. No Stefanidi. Great opportunity here for Holly Bradshaw. It's fantastic. Bradshaw there now in the lead on count back against Najat and the and the Greek athlete. Superb competition. And Najat is actually the one who's gone highest this year, 486, but the bar will now go up to 488. And that means uh, that will be an opportunity, huge opportunity for Bradshaw in front of this home crowd here. That would be a new best for her as well. So lots more to come in this pole vault. Three women still left in it. Most crucially, most importantly, Holly Bradshaw looking good. First, well, three women left. Kariakopoulou at 4.88. Holly Bradshaw first time clearance at 81. That's uh, a little bit all over the shop from the Greek athlete there, but uh, she a little bit of a sighter, perhaps, as uh, Tony might say, your first attempt. Yeah, I think that was... You see there, she just got underneath. Oh, we cut from the film there, unfortunately, but she just got underneath the pole, and that caused her to have that peculiar takeoff. Najat now back on the runway. There you saw the little tap of the spike. It, it, all athletes, Tony, have a routine, whether you're on the track or in the field as well, isn't it? It's part of that mental preparation, that's part of hers. Yeah, that, that's her thing, that's a tribute to her father. But if you watch her, we're talking about runway length here and we're making reference to Ollie Bradshaw coming in off 12 strides, but she walks in onto the 12. If we look here at Najat, she'll step forward, lean back, step forward, lean back, little skip, and then in she goes to 16 steps. So everybody's got their little differences here. Najat, first time, 488, another failure. It'll be Bradshaw to go next. The crowd are, are th enthralled by this. And Holly Bradshaw Should attempting I? to go higher than she's done before. 488, the bar now at. So. Holly Bradshaw. In such good form, and against some top women here, we've seen Stephanie to go out, Katie Najat, one of the up-and-coming pole vaulters on the world circuit. She's coached by Brad Walker, who is the uh, US crunch time in the women's pole vaults. We've seen them all have one failure. We're now under the third attempt here. Karekapulu, this is a new personal best for her, no. Well, she equaled the best, I said, was set back in 2016 at 481. That's a good competition for the European silver medalist. 
So just Najot and Bradshaw left. Here goes Najot. The only one to have gone higher than this. Katie, sorry, Holly Bradshaw has not. Katie has. Third attempt for the American. Oh, that was good. That was her best attempt. And she knows it. Close. Now, well, it means one thing. It means Bradshaw wins the competition, but she does have one attempt. And Harry, Holly Bradshaw can give them a British record. Here she goes. 4.88. Now, well, it's been a good competition, though. It's improving. A season's best 481 performance for Holly Bradshaw. She wins the competition, and that's something as well to be proud of because it was a top class competition. The Commonwealth champion was in it, the Olympic champion was in it. Katie Najot, who's doing so well, the American, beaten by Holly Bradshaw. So it's a win, Tony, and she will. She's getting closer, isn't she? Oh, this is world class pole vaulting. This is absolutely brilliant. It shows that her and her coach, they've wintered well, the speed's improved. And there's options. Go to a longer pole, a few more steps on the runway. This will be interesting to see. This is going to be a great summer of women's pole vault. And then I hit the pole, I thought, oh, it's in. And I didn't. Yeah, just doing the analysis. I hit the pole and then I was in.